Here are five dinners under $10 that you can feel good about feeding your family. We'll start with my favorite method of cooking, which is cooking in one pan. This is our cast iron honey sriracha glazed chicken thighs with root vegetables. I'm gonna start by just making a dry rub for the chicken with a little cumin, paprika, garlic powder, salt and pepper. Okay, just sprinkle that on the chicken and then we're ready to hit the skillet. While that goes, we're going to make just a glaze to pour over towards the end. This is when having a good stocked pantry of condiments and things comes in handy. I'm gonna start by melting some butter and adding a few pantry staples. To the melted butter, I'll add some honey, some sriracha, a little soy sauce, and some lime juice and lime zest. Oh yeah. We're gonna finish cooking our chicken in the second step. Now it's time to add in our vegetables, making this a true one pot meal where we have our meat and our veggies all cooked together. Now this recipe calls for red wine, but that's gonna take me over the $10 mark. So I don't think it's even necessary because there's so much flavor going on in this dish already that I'm just gonna add a little water because that's free. If you need a little more acidity in here, you can add a little red wine vinegar to the water to kind of you know, create that effect. We're coating the chicken with about half of the glaze and then we'll use the rest of the glaze at the end and we'll finish this whole dish off in the oven, then it'll be time for dinner. Ooh, our chicken is done. Look at that. You gotta admit, this is a lot of food for $10. I'm gonna finish it off with a little more glaze. This is definitely a meal that would satisfy your family. If you're planning your weekly meals on a budget, then you can definitely plan on using your slow cooker. I'm gonna make a hearty lentil soup, and this is so budget friendly that there's room to spare for bread or grilled cheese on the side. This recipe uses tomato sauce. This can's about 25 cents. Definitely something to use on a budget. And then the flavor of that tomato is stretched by free water. We'll also add some inexpensive flavor with dried herbs. Slow cookers not only lend themselves to cheap meals, but easy meals too. Our soup is done. It smells so good. There's just something comforting about a $10 pot of soup. And it's really comforting to know that I didn't break the bank trying to feed my family. This meal is so affordable, I could even round it out with a big crusty loaf of bread. Mm. That is good. Restaurant quality. That 25 cent can of tomato sauce carries this flavor to a whole nother level. I'm breaking out the sheet pan for our next affordable meal and I'm using sausage, which is also another very affordable protein and there's so much flavor in it. You don't even have to worry about seasoning much. You can really save money on bell peppers when you buy them in a value pack. An onion from a value bag is going to be well under a dollar compared to the ones you buy individually. And if you or your family don't like onions, you could leave that out, save your money, or sub it out for another ingredient like tomatoes or more bell peppers. This whole tray can feed your family for about seven bucks. This smells amazing. Cannot wait to eat that. Now this is a $10 meal fit for a party. I think it's fun to serve a hearty meal like a sandwich, but if you wanna keep this a full dinner, lower in carbs, you could just pair this with one of those bag salads for about three bucks. Looks like a perfect bite to me. Mm. And definitely tastes greater than $10. You didn't think I could create an episode of budget meals without including a pasta dish. This one starts out with bacon, so you know it's gonna be good. Now before you tell me bacon's so expensive, there's no way this can be under $10, it can because you're not using a whole pack of bacon. Just a few slices out of the pack is all you need to deliver great flavor throughout the whole dish. I pour out most of the bacon drippings and then I just toss everything together. One of those ingredients being canned tomatoes. All these need to do is warm through. And this can's about 79 cents. This meal comes together in about half an hour. And this dinner, I would say, is fit for company. This meal is so delicious and budget friendly that I can afford a glass of wine. Stir fry meals are always in my budget plan and I serve these on a weekly basis. It's a great use for leftovers that you have in your fridge so you can almost make this meal for free. A little bit of each ingredient goes a long way so if you can purchase your meat at a butcher counter, just what you need, it only needs like a half a pound of beef. I mean, we're talking like three bucks here. The sauce for stir fry is also almost free. All it is is some cold water mixed with cornstarch and that's gonna thicken up any flavor from the pan. Stir in a little soy sauce and you're good to go. Also love to use bagged coleslaw to stretch this meal out. 
Uh, this is less than $2. Cook up about 50 cents of rice and you've got yourself a full, very hearty supper. Of course, I like to top mine off with a little sriracha. So there you have it. Here are five delicious meals, way better than fast food, that you can feel good about feeding your family. I really love hearing from you and reading your comments, so let me know what you would like to see me do next, and also, what is your favorite way to save money in the kitchen? And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. See you next time. There's just something comforting about a $10 pot of soup. Comforting on my wallet. <laughs>